Hello and welcome back. Welcome to video number 10 in Emboldened's video tutorial series. Uh, this is going to be a very quick video. We're going to talk about very basic formatting in the RAD editor. If you have ever used a word processor pretty much in your entire life, you'll already be familiar with most of this. So we're going to just zip through it real quick and then move on to some more advanced subjects. Um, so here I have my headline and my paragraph, and we're basically going to talk about this middle row of icons here, which should look familiar to most of you. So you have bold, italic, and underline, so basic text formatting, bold, italic, underline. Uh, Embolden recommends not ever using underline because this is a website. Anything that's underlined on the web, people generally assume it's a link. Uh, if it's not a link and you click on it and it doesn't go anywhere, users tend to get very frustrated. Um, you have superscript and subscript. I don't know how often you'll need to use those, but if you need to uh, do some scientific notation, I guess, or uh, some exponents, you have all of that in here. Uh, you have what's called a horizontal rule. Um, that's basically a line across the screen. We don't recommend using that. We find subheads are a much better way to uh, organize and separate text than having a bunch of text that has lines through it. Uh, but, but you have it should you need it. You have your text alignment. Um, we generally recommend leaving this, remove alignment, so non-aligned, um, or left aligned, which is basically gonna do the same thing. Um, center and right and force justify, you have, but we do not recommend using them. A lot of times, for whatever reason, people wanna center text on the web. Um, it's not really the best usability. Uh, it's not really good for readability uh, because people tend to skim their eye down the, the left edge of the text, and if that text is ragged, then they can't uh, scan it as easily. So we recommend just leaving everything non-aligned. Um, in the last video, we went over actually two videos ago, we went over bulleted and numbered lists and indents and outdents. And then um, here, this sort of upside down horseshoe omega symbol, this is all your special characters. Uh, most newer uh, office products and things like that use this as well. So this is where if you needed to add, uh, you know, currency symbols, uh, you know, pound, yen, euro, math symbols, things like that, um, all of that are in here. So you would click here and say, okay, here's the, here's the yen symbol. Um, and then this last thing here is tables. We're actually going to do a whole separate video about that. Um, and then we already talked about how to make headlines using this, this paragraph style. And in the very next video, we're going to talk about these custom classes over here, the supply CSS class drop down. So that's the basics of really basic formatting. Um, you're probably familiar with all of this stuff. Up next, we're going to talk about styles and then we're going to move into tables and some other stuff.